We would like to acknowledge and pay our highest respects to the Darug people who are and always will remain the traditional custodians of the land on which we are fortunate enough to share here today. We pay our respects to all the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders here and pay our respects to the Elders past, present and emerging for they hold the traditions, wisdoms and memories of the sacred land we cherish today. PDHPE curriculum provides students with the opportunity to explore the importance of family and kingship structures in maintaining and promoting health, safety and well-being. It develops an appreciation of ways of living and being by understanding Australia's connection to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, country and place. Today we will take you on a bushwalk to the Minerva Pools. Protection of the Minerva Pools is a valued part of the law, responsibilities and histories of the Thoreau people because of the cultural significance of hunting, fishing and conducting of ceremonies such as smoking ceremonies. They are held at the Minerva Pools as it is believed to ward off bad spirits, acknowledge ancestors and pay respects to both land and sea of the country. The Cumberland Plain covered 1,000 square kilometres of woodland and forest that was managed by Aboriginal people before Europeans began to clear the land for agriculture and settlement. Tharawal people attempted to protect their land, however unfortunately 14 Aboriginal men were victims of the Appa Massacre. The resilient acts of the Tharawal people continued until an instigation of alternate policies led them to banishment and amnesty for Aboriginal leaders. The Appa Massacre has been commemorated annually since 2000 and their sacrifice and resilience has allowed the Thoreau people to maintain connections, customs and stories to this sacred place. There are different Indigenous groups within Australia, the Aboriginal peoples and Torres Strait Islander peoples. Within this group, there is further diversity, meaning that there are various tribes amongst the population. The Minerva Pool is sacred to the Darawal people, and amongst this group, there are clans such as the Gwigal and Kabich Bada. The Tharawal Nation is covered in dreamings as the spirit travelled throughout the land forming features and creatures. It is said that engravings of a serpent overlaid with a kangaroo can be found and the natural occurrence of clusters of stars known as the seven sisters that meet their brothers spiritually connect the Tharawal people. There is cultural significance to the Tharawal land surrounding the Minerva Pools to the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities, as well as the location itself. The Minerva Pools is considered a sacred place of women's business, with the Tharawal local Aboriginal land council requesting that the land is respected by only allowing children and women to enter and swim in the Minerva waters. The Tharawal people's totem is a lyrebird. It is a significant symbol of their land as they protect and care for it to ensure good health and reproduction. The language spoken by the Darawal people is a Tharawal group dialect, which comes under the Yoro language group in the Yuan Kuri language branch. The Darawal people are united by their strong ties of kinship, which is made up of a number of things such as country, dreamings, relationships and their totems. This is why the Minerva Pool holds strong value to the Aboriginal Darawal people as it is their traditional country. The walk can be taken as an exclusive guide and walking tour with an Aboriginal discovery ranger who shares their perspective with the land and connections to people and the country through storytelling.